for many of us, it is a once in a lifetime event. In just over a week, we will be experiencing a full solar eclipse here in the GTHA. And our friends at the Ontario Science Centre have some tips for us to take this all in safely. Walter Stoddard, a researcher and programmer at the Science Centre, is standing by. Thanks for being with us today, Walter. My pleasure, Militia. How are you? I'm terrific. Listen, a lot of people are looking forward to April 8th, but before we rush out to view the eclipse, what do we need to keep in mind when it comes to protecting our eyes? You want to make sure that you have a pair of glasses, uh, whether they're eclipse glasses, you want to make sure that they have also the right standard on them so that they're, they're authentic and they will protect your eyes from, from the sun. As always, when you look at the sun, you, you don't want to look directly at the sun. You want to make sure that your eyes are protected. Now, if, if you're not in totality, like, like here in Toronto, there's also other ways to enjoy that partial eclipse that you're going to see by having a, a pinhole camera, for example. Uh, you make a, a tiny pinhole. It will project the sun's image so that you can indirectly see it and watch it. There's, you can even do that with something as simple as a, a colander, a, a, a strainer that already has holes in it. If you hold that out, you'll see, test it in a bright sunny day today, you'll be able to see that it, you get images of the sun through all the tiny pinholes, which is kind of neat. So you're able to look and indirectly view the sun in many different ways. I think we're all going to be experts by the time this finally happens. I wonder if there are any recommendations on where to go to best view it. Now, we have been talking to the mayor of Niagara Falls today. He says his city could see, you know, more than a million people. Where else could we watch it? Certainly Niagara Falls, uh, Hamilton. Uh, I, I know that uh, Montreal has a good view. Uh, really, the, the path of totality, if you uh, you can visit our website, OntarioScienceCenter.ca, and we map that out for you as to where you might be able to go to best view and to best look at the total eclipse. Now, I wonder, as a person who is so interested in science like yourself, have you been counting down to this moment? What the heck? We've been very excited about this moment, absolutely. Uh, I, I myself, I'm going to go and, and visit with our, our friends at the Royal Botanical Gardens. Uh, we, we have uh, a shared event there that's going to be a lot of fun. Our, our school group is going there as well, the, uh, the Ontario Science Centre Secondary School, and so uh, the students are going to enjoy themselves in, in totality, and I have, I have the privilege of being able to tag along. It, it's going to be a blast. And in fact, we've been uh, really excited to share all that information on how to safely view it, where to go. Uh, here at the Science Center, our, our last uh, pre-eclipse event is the weekend before, the 6th and the 7th of April, where we have a chance to, to share with visitors how they can best safely view the uh, eclipse if you're uh, wherever you might be as well as uh, a chance to make uh, these really neat bracelets they're they're UV sensitive beads they change color in sunlight so you can actually take them out during the eclipse and watch them and see how they they change color as the, the moon passes in front of the sun oh, very neat okay so you've got some special programming going on some information on your website leading up to the eclipse but I'm wondering what sort of lessons can be learned through this whole experience that's a really good question. Certainly, uh, w when you're talking about some of the, the more intense science around the sun, uh, it's really convenient to have most of its light blotted out so that you can then look at the corona, the crown uh, th that shines around the, the, the sun on the its exterior that you don't always get a good look at it because uh, the light can be blinding from from the sun as a, as a general rule so covering up most of it with the moon that that's fantastic now we get a good look at the corona for a few minutes at a time every total eclipse uh, but also it's it's an amazing thing to be able to to share in this this wonderful experience that that doesn't come around uh, all that often when you have one overhead above the land where you're standing and so being able to share that experience with people all across North America for this particular eclipse uh, many around the world who've had that unique experience of being able to stand up and, and look at a total eclipse it's an amazing thing to, to feel that sense of, of connection through awe and wonder sharing that connection. I like that April 8th is when it happens. Walter Stoddard with the Ontario Science Centre. Thanks so much for your time today. My pleasure.